Hello everyone. So today I have a base game nightclub slash bar build for you. I decided to tear down the nightclub in Willow Creek and redo it as a kind of nightclub bar building with an apartment above it. Now, that being said, of course, you're going to have to do some playtending to use it. But, you know, I, I thought it was something that would be fun. Because you can just invite over a bunch of sims and, you know, be the bartender or, you know, the bar owner or whatever. That was kind of my thought process with this. Now, I believe if you're on PC, there might be a mod where you can actually run this as a business so random sims would show up. Uh, if I can find that, I'll link to it below. If you don't see a link or you know of a mod that does this, put it in the comments. I'd appreciate it. All right, so one thing I am going to ask you right now is if you are liking any of my builds, uh, please make sure to like and subscribe. I really look at the likes I get on videos along with the views just to see what you guys are interested in that I build. So if you like this build, please make sure to like the video. That just helps me out as to what I'm going to be building next. And really, I'm open to building things. I just enjoy building in The Sims. It doesn't have to be anything for, you know, just me. I do play, uh, though I haven't done it in a little while. And I think that is why I really haven't been able to come up with a whole lot to build. I do have a user-suggested build I am working on. So that should be up in a... Sometime in the next week or two, I should have that ready to go. And yeah, so, you know, let me know what you guys like. Uh, I do post community things too. So check that page out or that tab out to give your input there for polls and things. Okay, so now that the general building is done that I don't really need to explain, just more of getting the building ready. Here I am, you know, creating the stage area. And again, this is all base game only. And that was a little difficult to do, mostly because I wanted this to be that nightclub slash bar. And we can't put DJ booths in base game only builds. So... The stereo there is kind of a placeholder, so if you have get-together and the ability to place uh, DJ booths, there is room for that. I did test that. I made sure one would fit in there. I did think about putting one in, but I really didn't want to throw off the gallery when I uploaded this. So it's just a stereo there. I did debate about a jukebox, but that wasn't really the vibe I was going for either. But as you can see, you can have a little band set up and, you know, if you have it, a DJ booth eventually. So here, just kind of figuring out the stage, how high I wanted it. I did think about just allowing The Sims to walk right up on it and leaving it at just one level up, but I didn't like how that looked. So, I went with two levels and a staircase to the side. Here, you can see the center area. I created a dance floor because, again, it's not, you know, the dance floors aren't a base game. However, I believe I got the dimensions right where that would fit. I think it's the big or the medium dance floor. So, that tiled area is kind of your dance floor. Again, I wanted to make this so you could add things to it if you had other packs that would make it, you know, a little more of a nightclub vibe than than what the base game allows. But still be fun and usable. 
if you don't have any of those and you just have the base game. Here I'm just adding in some tables. There's probably more tables than what I need here. <laughs> but, you know, I thought it would be fun to kind of still give that, you know, kind of bar type vibe. I did want to put in, there's a corner by the stage. Uh, that I end up putting a table in and a sconce. Originally, I was thinking, oh, a dartboard, and I didn't realize that wasn't base game. So, just an idea if you don't like that weird random table in the corner. You know, a dartboard would be great if you have access to it. So, here, I am just kind of trying to figure out what to do with this bar area. And I tried a couple different things. I cut out some things, but I wanted something here. It didn't look right without something. So I did these little like cutouts and put these wall decorative pieces there. I think it's technically like an artwork, but it looks a little bit like mirrors to me. I do love to use these cutouts and put just random things in them. And I think it works. It gives it a little bit of an extra. I did think about putting sconces in there, but I didn't. I'm not sure why. I think I had the thought and was going to go back and check it out and never did. So it's just the little artwork slash mirror looking things. All right. So here, just kind of putting in a back patio. I wasn't sure if I wanted to have a back patio and then decided, yes, I did. Um, and I really do like how it ends up turning out. I change this floor plan up a little bit as I go along. Mostly because this apartment upstairs ends up awfully big. <laughs> it ends up being a three-bedroom apartment. And they're decent-sized rooms. So, you know, family apparently is going to be living in this apartment. This isn't... Uh, you know, just a one-person deal. Or roommates. You could have roommates in there. I didn't do more than one apartment, mostly because, again, this is base game only. So I really didn't want to end up putting in, like, for rent items, you know, or, you know, for rent gameplay when it's a base game only build. But you could you know, rent out the rooms if you have that or have roommates. So that's an option if you have those packs. So here you can see playing with the stairs, changing up a few things, kind of deciding how I wanted to shrink the you know, apartment upstairs a little bit more just because it was so big. And to be honest, I absolutely love this little like I end up making it almost like a courtyard type thing. And it's just kind of cool for those that are outside to look out on. And of course, you have the nice view of the water from here too. So, you know, I think about things like that because that's the interior design brain going in my head. Yeah, is, you know, well, what's the view? Even though the Sims really don't care all that much. Anyway, I wanted to put like a fireplace out here, so I added that. Looking at artwork, something had to go above here, but I wanted it to somewhat make sense. I did end up just putting an art piece. It's covered. It's probably not going to get wet by rain. They can always bring it in, right? It's The Sims that doesn't affect it. It's fine. But yeah, so just created this nice little area, and I put the fireplace out because if you have seasons, it gets cold and could affect your Sims being outside. Then it's just kind of nice to have. It adds to the, the, the room a little bit, and, you know, fire makes your Sims, you know, either happy or terrified. That's always something fun, too. All right, so here you can see I'm just kind of playing with the various roofing things here and getting that to look right as i said i kind of play with this building a little bit uh, but the finished product blends in pretty well with the world 
and I like it. If you've noticed, there is another building missing toward the end of this row of buildings. And that is because I put a restaurant that I built, gosh, I want to say three years ago now, there. I think I might have done a speed build. I didn't do a voiceover for that speed build. Um, but the, I think there is a speed build up for that one. If there is, I will link to it up above. And you can check that out. But it's a restaurant I did. One of my first builds with this pack. Was, or with The Sims 4. It, I went out and I had The Sims 4 since it came out. And I played with it a little bit. But then I kind of got busy with life and work. Mostly work. And stopped playing playing it really for a while or I didn't do a lot of building in it I just played every once in a while when I had time so when COVID hit and I ended up in a job where I worked from home I had a little more time on my hands so I was able to start building and that was that was where one of that build kind of came from was at that point and I happened to record it because I think at that time I had been contemplating maybe doing a YouTube channel um, with builds, but hadn't done it yet. So, so yeah. But anyway, back to this build. Um, with this one, it's mostly just me figuring out, you know, a little bit of decor. Uh, still playing with the outside a little bit. And getting some landscaping done before I move upstairs. So... And that's kind of where that is. Here I'm putting in that little courtyard area. And I decided to do a fountain. And it's just a small one. Nothing major. As you can see, I keep putting in one, a bigger one. I'm like, this just isn't going to work. It's too big. So I did this instead. I think it's cute. It's just a little something to put here. I didn't want it to be another open seating area. So I put a fountain. All right, so moving upstairs here a little bit, I am going to warn you guys ahead of time that I start working on the living room area, kitchen area. I get a good amount of it done, so you're going to see quite a bit, but at some point, I believe I paused it because I had a cat bothering me, and I forgot to unpause it and didn't realize it until... I was actually looking at the video footage, so I didn't even notice it when I stopped recording because all it does is pause. It doesn't, like, stop the recording itself. Like, it still says, oh, hey, you know. But, so there's going to be a little bit of decorating that you guys do miss. It was just to the point where I had already done, like, so much other stuff that you saw it would have been too hard to go back and redo it so uh, that being said you'll notice that eventually um once I start the living room and uh yeah but it's I don't think it's that much that you missed you get to see me do all the bedrooms so and of course you know you'll get glimpses of the living room and the uh finishing kitchen uh off things so the kitchen as I'm doing it here I played with it quite a bit, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to put cabinetry on the walls. And that's something that I ended up doing during that paused, you know, time frame, is I put some cabinetry along that wall where the refrigerator and all that is. But I also went back and added more cabinetry later. <laughs> so, so again, that is why I didn't just try to go back and refill my, what I had done, and... I'm going to try to pay a little more attention to that in the future because I have two cats and they are attention starved. In fact, I have one right now under me meowing her head off because I'm talking into a microphone and I think she thinks I'm talking to her. She also wants me to go out and, I don't know, I don't do something. She's been fed. She's been, you know, she has a water fountain. I have a screen in porch. They've been outside. I don't know what she wants. But she's very demanding when she wants to be. And 
yeah, every time I'm on this mic, she wants to make herself known. All right, so here, just kind of putting in windows that I didn't do originally because I wasn't quite sure where I wanted them to go. Um, and now, playing with their living room, that ends up being a lot bigger than I, I guess I was thinking. And you can see I kind of play around with how that lays out a little bit. Trying to see if I can shrink it. I didn't like it, so... Ended up kind of with this in the doorway, a uh, big glass window, just because it looked weird with the smaller one. And then getting a sofa configuration kind of figured out. Now, the good news is with this is I didn't really change the configuration here. This is what it looks like. And then you can see kind of that finished product. And that's when I came back and... I had to quit to go to work and didn't even realize I hadn't been recording. I, I was very sad when I reviewed this video that I missed it. But but yeah, you can see I kind of did a green theme around the whole thing. Added the cabinetry to the kitchen. Rug. Some bookshelves. Plants. So yeah, it looks like a living room now. I believe I also added the desk area in there. Uh, yeah, so you'll see it all in the pictures. And I, again, will be careful to not do that as much in the future. <laughs> Alright, so here, again, I played with the floor plan a little bit because originally I had thought of having the bathroom off the living room. And then I decorated the living room and realized that you couldn't get to the bathroom the way I decorated it. And I liked it a lot. So I didn't want to change that. I mean, it wouldn't be hard to change it the way I had it. But but I kind of like how it ended up here. It's, it's more like a traditional home or apartment would be where, you know, your bathroom is over by your bedrooms. And your guests just go down the hallway. So that's a little more like that. I didn't put in a, like a half bath just because I don't think in this type of layout you really needed it. Here, I was playing with the shower originally because silly me was like, oh, walk in shower, I'll do that. There's no base game shower head only. I had to put in, you know, the whole tub shower thing. So I went ahead and did this. And originally I was going to play test this before doing this recording and did not. So I am going to play test that. If that wall comes down, the entry there didn't work. I think it will. I believe I've done it before in a build and it worked fine. So... So yeah, I'm pretty sure that'll work, but if it's not like that and that wall comes down, that's why it didn't work. So here, I'm kind of doing both of these rooms at the same time, um, to an extent, the furniture. It just is easier when they're this close together to throw everything in all at once and then kind of, you know, customize it to the room. So here I have where the bunk bed is. This is my, I guess, guitar loving Sim. Boy or girl in that one for sure. Just, you know, they like orange. They, they like to play the guitar. I do throw a guitar in there eventually. And this room is your pink room. And flowery room and a little more girly but again maybe you have a, a guy that likes pink okay and I say this a lot because my nephew and actually his dad too both like pink they that's just it's a color they like they wear it all the time it looks good on them you know it, it works so yeah and so that is why I always say, you know, it could be. And really here, all you would have to really do is change the uh, 
the bed, I think. I don't think I put anything specifically girly in there. Can't remember for sure, though. Besides, the bed kind of looks a little, you know, it's a little flowery, which, like I said, maybe the guy likes flowers. It's all good. So, the other thing with this being a base game only build is there's not a lot of decor that I can use. So, I've sized up these posters to kind of fill in the space a little bit. You know, notice I also took the wood flooring out and put in rugs because I really couldn't find rugs I liked that would work. Or put in, sorry, carpet, not rugs. Because I couldn't find rugs that would work. So, yeah. So, here, just kind of cluttering things up. And, you know, creating a little more personalized space. And as you can see, this is a music-loving sim. And I think it fits if, you know, the parents own a nightclub. You know, maybe they're they're a teenager and they their band plays at the club. I really wish we had bands in The Sims. Just saying. But we can pretend, right? So, yeah. I think being it was a base game only build, I, I do like how these rooms ended up turning out. Um, I was still able to personalize them quite a bit. But... There's always room for more, so if you have other packs and want to add things in, there's room for it. So, so yeah. I think the biggest thing with the base game only builds is artwork. And you'll see here, I actually paused the game because I was looking through artwork on the gallery. And you'll see in the living room there, I did add a couple of pieces that I found because of the lack of artwork. Now, as I said, I haven't play tested this yet, but when I do that, I'm going to go through and frame those so they look a little bit better on the wall. Was hoping to do that before before this voiceover. So in the pictures even those won't be framed. I can I think you get to, you see one of them, but so here in the master bedroom, I've been trying to use colors that I don't normally use. So I went with yellow there. And I'm going to tell you, that was more difficult than I thought it would be. Just because we don't have a lot in the game that's yellow. Or at least not in base game. And so I pulled a lot from the gray that's also in the bed. And I, I do like how this turned out. I was shocked, however, when I went to look for rugs and actually found one that works. You'll see that later. But you can see here, I'm trying to play with them. And yeah, I, I couldn't. I was like, oh no, oh no, this is not going to work. And then I found this one. And it's great. It's yellow. It's, it works. A little more modern than what the bed spread looks like, but that's okay. We're going to say it's, you know, the bedspread was one of the parents and the rug was the other. And when they moved in together, they, you know, combined their styles. Okay. All right. So the other thing is just kind of figuring out this hallway. I really wanted rugs in it, but I didn't like how any of them looked. Um, I really wish they would give us some rugs that we could just place down. I know technically I could do it with carpet, but I don't like any of the carpet <laughs> at all. So, all right. So here I'm just kind of cluttering things up and you can see the cabinetry I added in, uh, etc. The rug under the table, things that, you know, I missed because I wasn't recording. But again, it's okay. So, you know, finishing touches kind of going on on the inside here before I move out to the outside. And I really had no idea what to do with this. I struggled a little bit, mostly because we don't have a lot of outdoor stuff in base game. 
So, of course, I put in your grill, and then I decided to kind of put in an outdoor kitchen. And I know the build itself is not very big, but I needed something to fill this space. So, and what I'm doing here, if you noticed, if you pulled the cabinetry away from the wall just a little bit, you lose that kind of back. I just blanked on the word, but oh, I'm going to call it a backsplash, but that's not what it is. Thing that connects to the wall. And so it looks a little bit better. I didn't want that out here for sure. Um, but that is a trick I will use when I'm building. Um, if I don't want that to show. And I don't do it too often. I might do it more uh, as, you know, I do more builds. I'm, I'm thinking I've done a lot more traditional ones lately. I'm really debating about doing a nice modern, maybe apartment build or something here soon. Just for a change of, of stuff. And I went traditional again because I did some modern stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm building. I'm, I'm just building in The Sims. That's what I do. All right, so we are just kind of landscaping a little bit. And I wanted it to be a little different than just the bushes around it. But I also didn't want to do a ton of landscaping here. I wanted it to be very simple. And not too crazy. Because nothing around it really had a whole lot. The museum kind of does but it's all around a wall like yeah I, I just wanted to keep this mostly simple with a little bit of extra thrown in just you know so when you're sitting out on the patio you've got something a little bit to look at all right and then you're just kind of finishing things up and adding a few things outside I didn't put a lot on this patio area so that you guys can add to it as you would like and we are coming up on the end of this build and I for one really like how this all turned out so here's our front view and I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the interior views now you guys enjoyed this build i had a lot of fun doing this the base game only builds are are very challenging <laughs> because we don't have as many options also i just noticed that i'm missing a column i'm gonna fix that before i upload all right guys don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed this build and subscribe so you will see when i post my next one all right you guys have a wonderful day bye now